Hey guys, I've got a new tutorial for you today. It's going to be using an app that I've used for the last couple of years now. It's called Paintstorm. It's my kind of go-to app for when I'm drawing my mandalas mainly. Um, you can also create some kind of cool patterns with it. But I'm just going to kind of do a little bit of introduction today of how to set up ready to draw a mandala. Um, and then how to also turn that mandala into some sort of pattern which you can use as well. So once you've downloaded the app you can open it and uh, this is something that i was working on last week it's a, a skateboard design <laughs> that i'm going to get engraved um but first things first let's go file a new and we want to open a new document and you've got the presets here uh, custom size click on that and then i always go to the a4 300 dpi that's my kind of go-to but there's loads of different ones you can choose from and there's also um you can set your own uh, measurements and sizes and the, the DPI for each page as well. So I'm just going to select this A4 one first. So there we go, we've got a fresh clean page. Um, your interface might not look like this. Uh, this is how I've set mine up to look. It's just the way that I prefer to use it based on the tools that I use most often. Um, the way to change this is in the view at the top. Just open that and then you can change all the different things. You can drag them around the page and put them wherever you want as well. So I've got this set up this way. I've got my brushes on the left hand side. So that's the options for each brush to change the size, the opacity. You can mess around with each brush once you've selected which one you're using. The next one along I have, I have my brushes set up. And then the next one along is also my layers. Um, it's not Layers isn't something I use too often, but it's there just in case I need it. And then you've got the colour and then you've just got all your different tools on the right hand side. So that's how I set mine up at the top. Um, these things down here on the left hand side, they're called hotkeys. The way to set these up, you go file and define hotkeys and then you've got all these different ones to choose from. Um, the ones that I use are the brush size increase and decrease. I've also got this straight line tool rather than turning your ruler on which is up here, rather than turning the ruler on and moving it around every time, you can actually select this. I think you press a dot and then you hold the key and then you do another one and it draws a line between both of the points that you just made. Um, those are the ones that I use most often. So I'm gonna dive right into it then. Um, on the right hand side, you can select the brush. It's just above the eraser and the fill tool, select the brush. I'll come back over here to my brushes. Um, you've got all the different presets along the top. Uh, the one that's probably the most useful, which I use the most, the airbrush one. You can select that. And then if you just open the brush properties, where it says size, you can press the little square next to the size. And if you press, press pen pressure and select this square that's totally filled in. So that way, whatever pressure you put on the on the pen it will be kind of spread out over the line that way you don't get a long taper at the beginning or the end of the line or you get as small a taper as possible hang on let me make the line a little bit bigger so you see there's, there's barely any taper there i haven't figured out how to totally get rid of the taper but there we go so once you've got your brush selected um along the top here you've got your mirror function press the mirror and then some more options come up along the top. You've got your number of mirrors first. You can turn that up and down. I think when you first have the program, it's set to a maximum of about, I don't know, 10 or 20 or something like that. And to change this, you can come into File, Options, Performance, and then you've got Max Mirrors. You just move this up and down. You can change the lowest as well, I think, can you? No, so yeah, Max Mirrors up to a total of 100 mirrors. Um, I've noticed the program slows down a little if you're trying to do 100 mirrors. Um, it's not something that I do very often, so it doesn't really uh, bother me too much, but I'm just gonna stick to 64. That's what I was using for the, the skateboard design. I always use multiples of, uh, that's actually not a multiple of six, so <laughs> never mind. Um, right, okay on that. Uh, another thing, you, other things you've got up here, you've got duplication, so, you can also change this, uh, the maximum amount of duplications. It basically just means whatever line you draw, you'll get a duplicate of it as well. So 
you got your duplication, I'm going to put that down to zero. And then symmetry, if you have symmetry highlighted, it obviously uh, mirrors it. If you have that turned off, it'll just kind of continue around. So I'm going to turn the symmetry on for our demonstration today. So yeah, you got your brush selected, you got the number of mirrors that you want to use. Now before we start doing any drawing any lines, um, come back into your brush options. And if you see down the bottom, you've got this thing called stabilizer. Um, I have it about halfway up the line. And then if you press underneath the rope button, what this draws, it draws, it kind of ties an invisible rope to the end of your pen and to the start of the line. So once you start drawing a line, you'll see a little piece of rope kind of drag the line. So the line doesn't actually start from where the pen is, it starts just behind it. And what this does, it gives a really, really smooth line. So you can do some kind of really nice curves without them kind of going jittery. I know it's, it's pretty much impossible to draw a perfect circle with your hand, but this helps an awful lot by having this little rope function. That's one of the main reasons I prefer this program, uh, this app over others, over other drawing apps, is because you've got this rope function. It just makes everything look a little bit cleaner, a bit more crisp, and ultimately it'll make your, your tattoo, your stencil, your, your design, whatever, uh, it'll just make it look a lot more professional, I guess. Um, so yeah, that is, that is the rope function. Um, and obviously you can change the size of the brush and then do some finer details in there. I mean, you all know how to draw a mandala, but this is, I'm not gonna do a big um, tutorial on how to draw a mandala, but you, you get the idea, the, the rope functions. It's a really, really cool little feature that this program has. Um, so let's just come into the layers and press this little magic square thing. It just erases the layer. Uh, Next thing I'm going to do, come to your fill tool, fill everything in black. Um, if you saw my other tutorials on Geometrica or, uh, yeah, it's Geometrica, you'll see that this is how I prefer to draw my mandalas. I fill everything in first and then I select my brush and I have the colour white. So let me say it's about, let's say 15. Um, another thing, once you have your guides in, there's a little lock tool there. If you press that, um, you can't move the guides around if you don't have it locked there's a little thing you can grab there and you can obviously turn the guides around you can you can move it all over the place so i'll lock that just so i don't accidentally catch it and move it around and i'm just going to quickly show you oh, where are we? Oh, sorry about that guys just a little technical uh, hiccup i don't know what happened there but i've uh, i closed the program and opened it back up so back to where we are we've got the a4 document and I've filled it in black and then I've selected the pen tool, changed the colour to white and the number of mirrors is 10. So yeah, if we lock the mirrors into place, I'm just going to draw a really, oh, turn the stabiliser and the rope on. I'm just going to draw a pretty simple mandala there. Okay, and then fill the background in white so um once you've drawn this if you come up to the top and turn your mirrors off you'll see another little uh, icon that appears along the top if you press that it's called the kaleidoscope um it's pretty cool for making some fairly simple patterns i guess um it's not as good as geometrica or other programs but you've got the number of mirrors there and you can turn that move that and change it i'm just gonna select six for the time being and you can grab this little bit and you can kind of turn it around and you can move it all over the place so i mean it creates some some fairly cool patterns it's not something that i i use to create my own patterns um but it's just another i mean that looks pretty sweet that's just a, it's just another feature that this program has that's um it's quite good you can spend a while uh, messing around with it um once you've got it there, just press apply and it just kind of spreads it out over the whole page. Um, yeah, that's the that's the Paintstorm Pro tutorial for today. Uh, that's how I create my mandalas and it's also a way of creating some patterns. Um, 
yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, um, drop them in the comments. I'll also put this on YouTube, so feel free to check that out and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.